Yesterday and today I was in Chile, one of the other countries that own GWP that had the foresight 20 years ago to sign an agreement that set up the Global Water Partnership as an intergovernmental organization in Stockholm, from where over many years the thousands and thousands of partners have found GWP a good instrument to collaborate and to bring forward the agenda on managing water together across boundaries, across silos, across groups of people. So the last two days here were very, very inspiring. Whether it's the National Commission for Irrigation, whether it's the Ministry for Public Works, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the uh, sanitation agencies, people do have a view on how to manage water and how to manage it better. Chile is not doing very well on integrated water resource management, or at least it was very modest when rating its own progress on SDG 651. But there are a lot of people who are now wanting to take the opportunities afforded to them by the environment, by the political environment, but also in particular by the international development to take forward the agenda on water. The COP, the, uh, um, the uh, big meeting, the big climate change meeting that will take place in December here in Chile is a fantastic opportunity for everybody who cares for water to come together and to make a statement to show how managing water is part of managing climate change. How we must look at water, at the water resources and at the water services, whether it's sanitation, whether it's clean water, whether it's access to water, how all of that hangs together as we try to fight climate change, as we try to find the best ways to adapt to it. So I was very impressed to see the leadership of many people here in Chile and the opportunity that they see in the upcoming climate change meeting to convene, to bring together and to bring the point home that it's about water if we want to face the future together.